what is up youtube we are back with another video and this time you know this video is kind of a interesting topic because you know there's been a lot of discussions talking about street fighter 6 and there's been a lot of you know hype gameplay a lot of good showcases everyone talking about street fighter 6 but everyone's favorite players momochi had this topic which was talking about Street Fighter 6 and you know if you guys are not living under a rock you guys probably know that there is a cracked beta out there and people have been playing the original eight character for Street I mean the original eight characters in the Street Fighter 6 beta but Momochi was talking about this and Momochi was talking about the crack beta on his stream and he said I feel like those players those playing on the cracked version should be permanently banned Capcom is being too soft there are certain overseas players who have even shown the crack on stream and or tweeted it out. Now, this is a hefty, this is pretty hefty, you know, everyone talking about playing the crack of Street Fighter 6. Now, I will have to say this, and flat out disclaimer, disclaimer, I have never played the crack beta of Street Fighter 6. If you guys go to my Steam, I have closed beta last time I played, October 10th. I have not played this game. As soon as my beta was done, I was off Street Fighter 6, never played again. I, 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 that's all I got. As someone who's played, I mean, as someone who's got to play a lot of Street Fighter 6, because I got to play a lot of Street Fighter 6. From being at Street Fighter League, funny enough, I got, we all got to play Street Fighter 6 for a, a long, extensive time over at Street Fighter League. You know, the secret top player privilege, secret organizations. We get to play Street Fighter 6 a lot. And uh, we also got to play Street Fighter 6 at uh, PAX East. That was pretty recent. We got to play Street Fighter 6 there as well. Now, I would probably say, I probably have more hours on Street Fighter 6. Oh, also we got to play Street Fighter 6 at Capcom Cup, obviously. But uh, I would say of all the people on that have not played the crack beta i probably have probably more hours than a lot of the other average shows i haven't been playing the demo that much because it's only been luke and ryu but i probably played street fighter 6 more than a lot of the other players out there who haven't been playing the crack version this is such a uh a, a heavy burden permanently banned is definitely pretty harsh in my opinion i would say maybe like uh six month ban or something along those lines but permanently banned seems like a, a very harsh but i i it does also bring up the problem with there's going to be a lot of you know pop bonuses when the game first comes out you know people are going to have advantages when the game has you know pretty new so me personally if if i were in capcom shoes I would probably ban them for like a, a six month period, but there's also no way to really figure out who and who hasn't been playing the, the crack beta. There's no like traces or anything. Nobody's left any like hints that I've played the crack beta. Unless somebody got up and said, yes, I, yes, Capcom, I have played the crack. They can't really enforce something like that. So I feel like it, it's a double edged sword when it comes to people talking about banning players it's too hard to do in my opinion i have seen a lot of people saying that uh with street fighter 4 when street fighter 4 came out japan had an advantage over us because they got the game first and you know now with six i guess us overseas players playing the cracked version of street fighter 6 is going to have an advantage so momoshi's kind of just complaining or crying or whatever term you want to use so, I, I mean, like I said, I personally don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. It, it's kind of the same problem where, like, kind of ban the tester. Because, like I said, if there was no crack version of Street Fighter 6, I would probably say all the top players have way more time on Street Fighter 6 than, you know, your average Joes or anything. Because, like I said, I got to play a Street Fighter League, Capcom Cup, uh, uh, PAX East. I even got to play in South Africa, actually, at Ripple Kumite. So, actually, I, I got to play a lot of Street Fighter 6. And the game's not even out yet. It, it, it's a double-edged sword. Ban the testers or, you know, ban, don't ban anyone. What do you guys think should happen? Should Capcom actually ban all the... Ban all the... I, I hate using the term crackers, but, you know, ban all the cheaters. Ban all the cheaters who have been playing the, the crack version of Street Fighter 6. Or should, you know, just let it rock. You know, the playing on the... Playing early is not going to really matter and you know people will bridge the gap in a couple of months what do you guys think be sure to you know leave a comment and subscribe to the channel we've been having a lot more subscriber a lot more you know engagement you know i read all the comments you always want to see what you guys think or what you guys are saying and i will see you guys next video peace jail time you're gonna have to give jail time for the people playing the crack version oh no
don't ban the cheaters, I'll body them anyway. I mean, technically speaking, it is not fair. There's a lot of people playing the crack, but like, uh, like I said, I, I've got to play probably more than a lot of other people. Like I said, I got to play at like four different events. And if you're not at those events or, you know, top player privilege kicking in, then... You don't really get to play as much. What about the people who get the game early from mom and pop shops? Are those people cheating? Actually, I never even thought about that. Because I got Street Fighter V early from a mom and pop shop. Is that cheating? I got plenty of games early from mom and pop shop. I got Model, I got Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 from a Model pop shop. That's cheating? Damn. Maybe I am a cheater. Bro, those dudes, those mom and pop shops be hitting. Those things are sick. <laughs> Take back my Capcom Cup title. Bro, I had like a, what, I had like a three or four day advantage for Street Fighter V then. Now I'm a cheater. <laughs> How could I bleed so blind? It's like that, oh man, it's like that Spongebob episode where Patrick was like, uh, what did Patrick say when he was like, I can't believe I was looking for myself the entire time. It's the perfect rock. <laughs> All my wins don't count. I was looking for myself the entire time. What episode was that? <laughs> you stole the oyster pearl oh yeah that one oh yeah i don't think okay i like i said i think there'll probably be an advantage for like oh thanks for the raid by the way fgc hitman appreciate it ggs i don't think it's too much of an advantage but like i said it's definitely gonna take people time to catch out advantage till emo they're not gonna know how the new characters function anyway when you guys say cheating though because like i think crow fast when you guys say cheating, cause like, what do you say? Like, cheat codes for GTA 5. Act this honestly or unfairly in order to gain an advantage, especially in a game on examination. She always cheats at cards. Yahoo? I don't usually use Yahoo, I don't know why it's like that. But, I guess this would, uh, this would categorize, I mean, I guess playing the crack is technically, fit the term of cheating is picking Luke cheating I mean technically yeah picking Luke is cheating as well because you're acting dishonestly and unfairly sounds like cheating to me I mean I just looked at the definition that sounds like cheating but you know I will make this one point for all the the, the crackers and the cheaters out there one of my favorite wrestlers was Eddie Guerrero this is getting way off topic, but he always said, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. So all the crackers out there, I, you guys are probably Eddie Guerrero fans. Come sponsored early testing. I mean, at Street Fighter League, we got, we all got to play Street Fighter 6. I can imagine at the Japanese Street Fighter League, they let everyone play Street Fighter 6. And in the EU one. I might be wrong with the EU one, but no. Chips, did you guys play Street Fighter 6 at your Street Fighter League? Not the EU one? Damn, Capcom hates you guys. At ours, we got to play six. I would assume that the Japanese, Japan Street Fighter League, you got to play six. Capcom just hates you. There's more advantage. I mean, there's always going to be advantages in the in the pro scene, no matter what you do. There's advantages in in sports. Like somebody might be just six eight, and the other dude just might be six feet. You can That's a, that's an advantage. What is up, YouTube? We are back. This is actually just a continuation of the, the other video since uh, it happened so fast. But you know, Capcom is back. They are cracking down on the cheaters. They actually got Momochi, uh, top player. A lot of you guys should uh, probably heard of him. But they definitely are stopping all the cheaters because Capcom made this announcement not too long ago. It was uh, yesterday, I believe. But it, it has come to our attention that some users have been accessing the street fighter 6 closed beta test software and playing the game outside of the designated period this is a violation of the cbt terms and service and can be seen as a violation of the capcom pro tour code of contact for for the avoidance of doubt from this point forward any player who is shown with clear evidence to be accessing the cbt is an, in an unauthorized way may be deemed ineligible to for the upcoming Capcom Pro Tour and Street Fighter League season. We appreciate your cooperation and understanding and helping maintain 
the fairness and competitive integrity of our competitions. Yes. So, as you guys can all see, Capcom is cracking down on... Do, do I just say, you know, the crackers? They are stopping anyone who's been playing the the crack beta of street fighter 6 me you know good samaritan never never even tried to download the crack beta that had no interest in it because you know i am all for competitive integrity it is super important that we are all on the same playing field there were a lot of people arguing that you know when street fighter 4 came out you know japan had the game for or you know people were cracking street fighter 5 before it came out as well so i'm good it is good to see that in Street Fighter 6, we are not having any of that uh, coming forward. It, it, the, my only concern with this is is not the same because anyone caught playing the crack before is kind of let off the hook. Is from, as you guys can see, it says from this point on. So it's only from, I guess, starting April 30th onward till Street Fighter 6. So that's only a month of people try to make sure they don't get caught playing the crack if they have been playing the crack but i know everyone in the comment section and anyone watching this video is also a good samaritan who has never played the crack beta before but yeah good good on capcom making sure nobody has an advantage for street fighter league and you know cpt coming out i am actually super glad it'll make me feel less stressed out going into probably my first street fighter 6 tournament which is going to be ceo let me, got, let me know what you guys think about Capcom banning the crackers. Are you guys crackers watching the video? Maybe I shouldn't use that word. But, you know, are you guys cheating? Are you guys on the Street Fighter 6, you know, cracked beta as we are watching this video and have my video up on your screen and, you know, the crack beta up on the other? Let me know in the comment section below and peace. That <laughs> would age well. Yeah, I... I I, I don't know what word to use besides cracker, but I'm so used to using cracker because everyone was saying it on Twitter for the crack beta, but I probably should probably stay away from that word. Cancelled? Might be. You know that might be the last that might be the last YouTube video before YouTube demonetizes that one. 